welcome again guys how are you doing today and we are here with another video of disassembling your laptop and replacing your parts in today's video i have an hp this is a hp windows 7 i core 5 the model number on this one it's folio 13 and the model is for folio 13-1050 it's an ultra book it's like a, about one and a half centimeters really thin aluminium cover it's aluminium brushed lcd cover anyway on this one i'm gonna open it up and clean up the heatsink repaste and change its SSD hard drive. It comes with a 128 gig SSD hard drive. And I'm gonna replace it with a brand new SSD M.2 MSATA. So let's get it started. First thing first, you wanna flip it over. And we're gonna remove, we're gonna remove all the screws on the bottom. They're all the same size, so don't worry about misplacing any of those so let's go ahead and unscrew all of those all right now that we removed all the screws we're gonna flip it over open the laptop and we're gonna remove the keyboard for removing the keyboard you need to find yourself a guitar pick there we go by using a guitar pick, you're going to stick the guitar pick right on the top portion of the keyboard right there in the middle. And you want to put it in there and just cross it, just run it across, and the keyboard will come out. There are tiny clamps in there, like a, you have to unclamp those. Once you lift up, you lift up the top part slowly, and you want to bend it over very gently. Here, you're going to disconnect the backlight there's a backlight on this keyboard so you might want to disconnect those first which is right there so you want to stick let me see if i can zoom in right there. so you want to lift this plastic up just like that and then pull out the keyboard the backlight flex same thing with the keyboard pull it up and pull out So, this is your keyboard right here. If you want to replace it, the model number is right at the back. I'll leave the model number in the description so you guys can see. And next, we're going to remove the touchpad and mouse right here. Just lift up the same way that you lift up the keyboard and pull out the flex cable. Next, you want to remove the on off switch cable, lift up and pull out, just leave it right there. All right. Next, we want to separate the top panel. And to do that, you need to stick your guitar pick right in front of the laptop between the gray and black aluminum, and then you want to twist it around just like that. And go work yourself all around and then once you did that open the screen a little more and just wiggle it around it will come out eventually so back here you have the on off switch and the touch pad touch track all right now that we are down to the motherboard here there's only one dim for the ram upgrade so you can if you want to upgrade you have to remove these four gigs of ram or two gigs and replace it with a new one here we have the battery if you want to disconnect the battery you just have to pull this cable backward just like that and leave it up don't pull the cable just hold it from the sides and now we want to let it loose so there is a ram there is a bios battery right there 
and there's your SSD M SATA SSD and your Wi-Fi board heatsink and your fan so what we're gonna do right now we're gonna replace the M SSD M SATA so remove these two screws right there once you remove those you wanna don't pull up you wanna pull it in 45 degree angles when it just comes out like that just pull it towards the right side of the laptop you're gonna put that to one side grab the new hard drive new MSATA and stick it in you cannot put it the other way around it won't go in because they cut in the PCB board so there's only one way you can push it in push it in 45 degree angle and then push it down you have to hold it down with one hand and then all right next we're gonna remove the fan by removing these two screws right there let me zoom in so we're gonna remove these two screws all right now we can just go ahead and lift up the fan slowly gently and we're gonna disconnect the cable right there don't pull the and just pull the jack slowly move it around wiggle it around and then it will come out so there is your fan and we're gonna clean this fan because it's really dirty you can i don't know if you can see those the fans inside the fans are really dirty so we gotta open it up and clean it up and all right now that we have the fan right here and we're gonna open the fan by removing the three screws right on the bottom of the fan right there one and the corner one and the left side we can just pull out the front side and at the back there's a tiny clamp right there let me see if i can zoom in there so just wiggle it around it will come out nice and smooth right there so you want to clean up this one next and you want to grab a toothbrush and just clean up the band right there so I'm going to go ahead and clean up this fan. I'll be just right back. All right, now that we clean up the fan, clean up the top plate. Now we're going to put the fan in. The power for the fan. Just put the back side down. Now we're going to put the three tiny screws back in. Right. Next, we're gonna put this to one side and we're gonna remove the heat sink by removing these four screws right there. <clears throat> and next, just go gently and lift up the heat sink right there. Now we have the CPU and the PCH board chip. So we're gonna clean up with an alcohol. The die on the CPU and the heat sink. It comes off pretty easy. So you don't want to clean the thermal pad right there, so leave the thermal pad in place. You don't need to change that one. You're just gonna add in the little thermal paste underneath and that's it. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab the thermal paste. You can use a liquid metal if you want. In this case, I'm gonna use an Arctic Silver 5 thermal paste. And let me zoom in. Right there. Now we're gonna apply it gently in the middle, just right there. And a little bit in the middle on the PCH. 
So just like rubbing a little bit to the side of the CPU, just like that, and that's it. Right, next, we're gonna put the heatsink back on. And we're gonna put the three screws that we rem four screws for the heatsink. And after that, you wanna grab and um, plug in the heat the fan for the heatsink first, and then you wanna put in the screws for it. So always do the fan connector first, then flip over. And also, if you want, you can go ahead and Let's pull it out again. Clean the heatsink right there. You can clean it with a air can of air or just toothbrush or any kind of brush. Man, I just like using my old toothbrush. So now we're gonna put the back the two screws that we removed right there. And pretty much we are over. And there are the two speakers right there. If you wanna remove the power jack right there. It's really simple. The power jack is located to the left side. Two screws right there. Uh, it detaches from the board. And the rest is really easy. The battery, if you want to replace your battery, that's easy too. There's one and two screws holding the battery in place. There's only one cell and two cell batteries. They're like a tablet battery type. So yeah, now next we're gonna put in the power the battery cable right there and just push it down and you're gonna find the top cover put the top side down first and push the corners always don't you don't need to push the middle make sure you hit those click sounds push the sides there we go tight and neat First, we're gonna put in the cables for the mouse touchpad. Next, we're gonna put the on off switch cable. Right there. And then, we're gonna grab our keyboard, put it the closest you can to the board. Unhook the locks, just push it down, close the lid, keep it closed, and put the backlight cable. Now you can flip it over, put the bottom end first, slide it down, push the corner side down first, and then do the top side. Press all the way from F12 to F1. And you should hear like a few clicking noise, and that's it. We are pretty much done now. We're gonna flip it over and put the, all the screws that we removed from the bottom. We're just gonna fast forward this part. Alright guys, I hope you guys like this video. If you liked it, thumbs up. And if you have any question or request, please subscribe and ask in the comments. And I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.